Welcome back to the Coleman Farm YouTube channel where we are still prepping for paint on our Peterbilt 362. We got it almost there and then some more things start to come up. I uh, started to sand around the lights and then there was some of this caulking around it that I'm trying to take off now. Got a lot more hand sanding to do around all these rivets and the windshield. It's got a little bit of rust and uh, trying to just sand all this real clean and then probably put some pour 15 on it um, to make sure it prevents it from rusting in the future. But good news, I got called by Peterbilt today and they have the rubber being shipped out from Illinois and it will be showing up here next week. And then my front windshield pieces are still sitting up there and they are going to deliver all of that stuff to me. Also got the rope pieces that will go inside and lock the windshield in. So looks like I'm gonna be getting everything here next week. So I'm trying to get this thing painted and get it in the paint booth here and hopefully be able to start putting this whole thing back together. So go ahead and uh, stay tuned and we are going to continue prepping on this Peterbilt 362. So I was thinking this whole windshield was aluminum and then realizing that it's rusty, the frame that holds the windshield in is actually steel. And then the rest of the cab seems to be uh, skinned with an aluminum. Um, but the most of the frame is still really solid. It just has some rust where I feel like moisture must have just got behind that seal and just was trapped in there and that's why it got all rusty. And, um, but for the most part, the whole thing's pretty solid. So I'm not too worried. We're just gonna continue sanding and cleaning it up and then I'll bring it a little closer. It's for the most part pretty good. Still same thickness all the way through. It just has some spots that had a little more rust than others because for the most part everything else seems to be you know pretty well together and then there's some other spots that just have a little more rust but we'll clean that up and then we will get some rusty metal primer or the uh, rust preventative stuff that uh, pour 15 makes um, i like using that so keep going on cleaning this up well, I decided that we should start her up and pull it outside so I can blow it off because I'm starting to create a lot of dust in the shop. So I don't want that inside our shop. I figure I'll just back it outside, blow it, or take the compressor and blow it off. And I only got a little more hand sanding touch up areas to do. And then we're going to start taping all this off and blow up the uh, inflatable paint booth. All right, we're outside. Sounds so much better than with the mufflers on. But go ahead and grab my air compressor, blow this thing off, and then probably going to be able to wash it tomorrow and then start taping everything off and then we'll uh, start getting
start getting the paint booth set up. All right, we got it pulled back into the shop. We are going to stop for today, get back out here tomorrow, and hopefully finish up a few more touch-up spots, some hand sanding, and then we will wash it up, and then we'll start uh, taping everything off and see what we can do with the paint booth. Back at it again today. We are getting closer. Let's start pulling out these little clips here for the lights. And Figured that I should probably pull these off before I try to paint it because I just want everything looking nice. But I'm gonna pull these clips and then I don't know, just do the more spots I need to touch up and. It's getting closer, but just watch Twin Sticks paint his or reprimer his truck, and it's funny, you know. Watch all these other guys painting their trucks, doing it, and I feel like we're all on the same page. Maybe went to uh, YT University, YouTube University. Just watch a bunch of other people do it, and ah. I can do that, which pretty much my motto. You know, if someone else can do it, I can do it. This is a bunch of, a you know, little bit of a screwdriver help to pull that one off. And these clips are a little bit harder to get. Now I'm pulled out just fine. But I don't think I want to put the original lights back in here. I think I'll try to do something different and go to like a an LED, something that uses a little less power. Really try to switch all the lights to LEDs. It could be better. All right, I'm gonna have to grab a screwdriver and put you guys down. So I got all the clips done. Put that in a box. So lose them but now i'm just gonna go back to doing some more sanding and get this thing closer and closer to the spray booth but yeah it's a pain in the butt to uh prep everything uh noticed yesterday after i got done up around the window here there was some pitting from just rocks and things, whatever, hitting it. And um, had to do a lot of extra sanding there and then make sure I gotta touch all that stuff up when I get in with the high build primer, make sure everything's smooth. But should be looking pretty good once it's all painted. Uh, just tedious work. So I'm gonna stop talking and get back to sanding.
So I think I'm at that point now that I finally hand sanded enough. Hands are done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back outside, pull out the pressure washer, get this thing washed up. that need some more sanding. So back to sanding. So after washing this, I realized that there's a lot more dust and dirt on this thing than I thought. Even after all the sanding, I've seen some videos where I've seen some people just wipe them down and uh, call it good, but I saw some other videos where they washed them off and I'm glad I washed it off because a lot of dirt and grime and oils, dust, whatever still came off even after just rinsing it off with the hose scrubbing it down with the sponge and um, some degreaser soap really uh, helped clean it up. So uh, I think we're ready. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. I uh, definitely went over it a few more times uh, with my hand and found some spots to touch up. And again, I'm gonna be hitting it with the high build primer and retouching everything up again. So. Um, it's going to take a little bit more time, but that's what I'm going for. Trying to make it as professional of a paint job as I could be. So for first timer, I'm doing my best. Um, definitely watched a lot of videos from paint society on prepping, uh, auto bodies and, uh, watching other guys paint their trucks. Um, so we'll see what happens, but I'm going to keep on going and get this thing ready to go in the paint booth. All right, we got the cab over, flipped back around, back in the shop. What are we gonna paint it in? Boom! Our new inflatable paint booth we got off the amazing Amazon. So, let's take a look inside and show you uh, how big this is with uh, my kids in it. Let's go inside. Let's see how much room there is, let's go. Yeah, go ahead, go do some gymnastics. We got a, a 33 by 25 by 15 high. And standing in here looking at it, I'm pretty sure we got enough room for the cab over to get inside here. So we got filters on the walls. Now hook up another fan or blower for the blue one, which is gonna be the ventilation. So fresh air is gonna come in through the blue come out through our filters which we have two on either side and then uh, there's a little man door in the back or the big one here up in front but overall there is definitely uh, plenty of room in here to set up the scaffolding some ladders 
I'm gonna back the cab over in here and then paint it on that side closest to the filters so the fresh air will be blowing so it's not directly on the truck um, but then also there's enough room with these ribs up here on the top to where there's more room between the roof and the cab over so just <laughs> my boy being weird silly um, but yeah so got a little bit more room I could pull this thing out a little bit it's kind of sitting a little loose inside here but let's go ahead and uh, see what it looks like with the cab over inside As you can see, it fits in there. And we got plenty of room on one side. Need to probably pull it over a little bit more into the middle. But I was just trying to get it in there to see what it looked like. We got plenty of space. And look at all that headroom. It's easily, I don't know, I'd say three, four feet from the rib here. And then there's probably at least five feet from the top of the cab to the top of the uh, paint boot. So, plenty of room. And I think this is going to work. Nice clean space. Get this thing painted. Boom, we are in the paint booth. We are masking it off. Got a little bit more to do tomorrow morning, but I am done for today. Totally forgot videoing, uh, masking and all that. My kids were helping me and that was good. That was fun. But going to go ahead and uh, shut these blowers off. It's gonna deflate for a little bit and then we will be ready for tomorrow. I know I'm not that great about uh, explaining everything, but a few little quick tidbits. So, we've been sanding and prepping this for a long time. <coughs> <coughs> Washed it today, got a lot of dirt and grime off, pulled out the spray booth, blew it up, fits in here, perfect. I got tons of room, and then there's at least three, four feet above there um, before the rib, and then there's another two feet between the rib. So I'm gonna pull the uh, scaffolding in here tomorrow. <clears throat> Should give me plenty of room to work around it and uh, paint this bad boy. So we're gonna go ahead and get our primer on first, and then we're gonna pull it back out, sand, sand or block sand it all down, make sure everything's smooth and flat, Make sure we don't have any mess ups and uh, then get it back, clean it all up, get back in the paint booth and then hopefully get some paint on this thing by next week. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe and keep on following. Appreciate all the comments and uh, we will see you guys on the next one.